My name is Ron Glimp, and I'm here this afternoon to teach uh, these players how to use and play Math Maze. Math Maze is a new card game that was designed as a platform for mathematics skills and strategy practice. There's two different types of the, uh, two levels of the game. A starter level, which is intended for the youngest of players, and then there's a mastery set. This mastery set deals with uh, uh, slightly more difficult skill sets. Uh, the first set deals with whole number operations, um, primarily their, their computational skills. And the second set deals with negative and positive integers and fractions in the same gameplay. So that is what the game is, and today we're going to learn how to play it. And we're going to start off with the starter set first, uh, and I want to tell you what elements are involved in the game. First, what you'll find is that there are three bars. These bars are called mathematics function bars. They're used uh, similar to the way dice are used in games. Uh, this creates an element of chance in the gameplay. Now there's three in the starter set. One deals with the inverse operations of addition and subtraction, another multiplication and division, and then we have a third bar that has all four operations on it. And for this uh, uh, demonstration, we're going to use the bar with all four operations. So, we'll put the other two to the side, and then I want to show you uh, what's called level one. These are the cards. These cards are printed in both Spanish and in English. As you see here, they're Spanish and in English, and there's also a graphic representation of the value. There's two types of cards in each game. These red cards are called red factor cards, and they're used to help create problems, mathematic problems. And then we have these green cards. These are called players' cards, green players' cards. Now, the way the game is played is that these cards are shuffled or mixed up, placed in the center face up, and then from the deck of shuffled green players' cards, each player is given seven cards. And what we're going to be doing is we're going to be playing a game uh, that involves creating and solving simple math problems. But these operations that we use in playing this game are at the root or the base of all mathematics. All branches of mathematics require that you own these skills. And so what this game is, is a cooperative platform that allows students to practice in a un, uh, judgment, in a non-judgmental environment where they get peer tutoring and scaffolding from one another. This game is not so much about winning as it is about practicing so that we can gain mastery over the skills that we need. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and deal out seven cards to each of us four players, and then we're going to create and solve some simple math problems. If one of us is unable to either create a problem or solve a problem, then the others will be able to assist and help. So you're not going to be in a situation where you won't have support. Okay, if you count your cards, you should have six, I believe. That should be seven. Check it and see if you have seven. Okay, the remainder of the cards are placed on the table, face down. And in the event that we can't either create a problem, you have, you have eight? Let me have one on back then. Okay, we'll just put that there. All right. Okay, so I have seven, you have eight. And you, if you place your cards down in front of you, on the table in front of you, from the lowest value to the highest value. This, this is so, and you don't have to hide your cards because if you have difficulty solving a problem or creating one, one of us will be able to help you, to assist you. Okay? Now, we're going to be going clockwise as we play this game. I'm going to start out modeling how to create a problem, and this is how you're going to create a problem. And let me say, before we get started, the object of this game will be to get rid of your cards or to eliminate them from your hand. Okay, that's how you win. If one person eliminates their cards, then they're going to get to help tutor and scalpel the rest of us. And this game, by the way, accommodates two to six players. So, if five people, if there's six people playing, five people can win. If there are four people playing, three of them will be winners. Okay, so let me show you how a problem is created. This bar is rolled off the palm of your hand, just like that. And if you notice, it shows an operation of addition. So I'm going to use addition to create a problem for Dejeuner to solve. And the problem I'm going to create is going to involve addition. Now, this game is auditory, visual, and kinesthetic. What that means is as we play, we talk about what we're doing for the benefit of the auditory learner. 
Everybody doesn't learn the same way. Some people learn best from hearing, some people learn from seeing, and this game intends to engage you at all those levels. So now, I can take any card from my hand and put it down, and I'm going to create a problem. In this case, I put down the seven. Now I'm going to articulate or say the problem. The problem is seven plus one, and I'll tell you the answer too. Seven plus one is eight. Now, Dejeuner, your job then is to create a formula from your cards that will create this eight. You can use addition, subtraction, multiplication, or division to create your eight. So now pick and try as often as possible, you want to use three cards since the goal is to eliminate your cards from your hand. And this is where the mental math comes in. Now she's going to survey her cards to look at what combination of cards and operations will create eight. So do you see a, a way to create eight using three cards? Using three, either too high or they're too low. Well, does anybody else see it? And we can help each other, not from your hand, but from hers. <clears throat> yeah, I do. Okay, I see, so you see it? All right, now I can see several ways. Mm -hmm. And if you'd like me to, I can demonstrate it for you. Please do. Okay, you could use four plus four is eight, oh, you times said three one, cards. times one oh, is three. Or you could say four. Plus, or 4 plus 5 is 9 minus 1 and get 8. And there are other ways too. You can use one card and get 8. Now you can form your answer with 1, 2, or 3 cards, but as often as possible you're going to use 3. So pick your choice. Which one does you want to use? Okay. Um, I think I'm going to use the 2 4s and the 1. 2 4s and 1. So say 4 plus 4 is 8. 4 plus 4 is 8. Times 1. Times 1. Is 8. And so every time somebody does correctly a problem, we say, good job. Good job. Okay, so now we're going to pick, because everybody needs encouragement. Uh -huh. This is the one thing that all students need, all learners. So now these cards are picked up. The card you use for your answer as well as the card you use to create the problem. And then these cards are placed under the green stack, face up. Okay? This card, this factor card, this red factor card is changed and placed under the bottom. Now, Desiree, it's your turn to roll the bar and create a problem for uh, Marcus. So you roll the bar. Okay, this time it says subtract. So now you're going to be using subtraction along with this five. Take any card from your hand, put it down, any card. It doesn't even matter. Now, say the problem. Seven minus five. And say the answer. It's two. two. Okay, so Marcus, your job is to come up with two. Create a formula with your cards to create two. You can add, subtract, multiply, or divide, but you will have to justify and tell us what you did. <clears throat> And this is where the mental math comes in, because you're doing a lot of math. <clears throat> it's all in your head, which is where most math needs to be. Like, yeah. um, okay, you're going to use two cards. And say what you did. Five minus three equals two. Excellent. Good job. We'll pick these cards up along with the card that was used to create the problem. These are placed under the green stack. This card, back to cards change. And now, Marcus, you're trying to roll the bar and create a problem for Yvonne. Okay, now it says divide. Mm -hmm. And you have a two, so you can use a two, a four, a six, or eight. And by the way, the outcome of all these problems has to be a whole number. I didn't tell you that, but it is in the instruction. Mm -hmm. Okay, so say your problem. Ten divided by two equals five. Excellent. Ten divided by two equals five. And Yvonne, your job now is to create a formula from your cards okay. to create that five. And look at Marcus looking. You're doing extra math, doing any violence math, aren't you? You too. <clears throat> 